Meet KY5715.01, the best candidate for a super habitable world, which is bigger, better, and more suited for life than Earth. A massive rocky world, 1.9 times bigger and 1.5 times more massive than Earth. Located about 3,000 light years away in the constellation Cygnus, this exoplanet orbits in a habitable zone of its star. This means the conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface, the most important ingredient for life as we know it. Imagine a world so enormously huge that you could spend over 100 hours flying from one continent to another. There would be so much more possibility for life to thrive compared to here on Earth. KOI orbits a very special kind of star. Our Sun is a G-type main sequence star, also called Yellow Dwarf. These stars roam our galaxy for about 10 billion years, but our Sun is nearly halfway through its entire life cycle. In around 5 billion years, the Sun will expand into a red giant star, destroying Earth and all life on it. But in the case of KOI, it orbits an orange dwarf, a very special kind of star, or K-type main sequence star. These stars are a bit smaller than Sun, but they are much more stable. In theory, they can survive for more than 75 billion years, which is more years than our universe currently exists. Life on Earth has been existing for over 4 billion years. Can you imagine what life might look like after 70 billion years of evolution? And let me be clear, this is a real place in our galaxy that you and I could travel if we had a fast enough spaceship. And while we can send a probe to sample KOI's atmosphere, we know hydrogen, helium and traces of heavier molecules are present in its atmosphere. The greenhouse effect on the planet might be stronger than on Earth, making the planet warmer. All of this tells us it is one of the best candidates for extraterrestrial life. Recently, water vapor was discovered on K2-18b, a high sea planet or water world, a new type of exoplanet which can put Earth's oceans to shame, containing mega-oceans stretching hundreds and thousands of kilometers deep. This enormous water world is 2.6 times larger and 8.6 times more massive than Earth. Located about 124 light years away, the exoplanet is carrying ultra-thick hydrogen atmosphere, which traps heat and creates enormous pressures, helping sustain liquid water across a wide range of temperatures. On the surface, these conditions would crush you instantly. But down below, the waters have temperatures just like here on Earth. The planet also orbits in the habitable zone of its star, a red dwarf called K2-18. With its orbital period of 33 days, K2-18b receives about a similar amount of starlight as Earth receives from the Sun and could have similar conditions, which also allow the existence of liquid water. If there is life on this Hycean world, it could look very different than on Earth, evolving in hot pressure conditions with exotic chemical soups. It's also possible that huge lumbering life forms are roaming its endless oceans. Just 12 and a half light years away lies another home to potential alien oasis. Tea Garden B, a super-Earth exoplanet which has the highest Earth similarity index of any exoplanet found to date. The Earth similarity index is a scale to physically compare other planets to Earth. It was designed to be a scale from 0 to 1, where 0 – no similarity to Earth and 1 – identical to Earth. And Tea Garden B shares so many similarities with Earth that it is kind of scary. With all its characteristics like mass, radius and density, this planet looks 95% similar to Earth. The planet's atmospheric composition and temperature of 28 degrees Celsius allow for this rocky world to have stable liquid water on the surface. G 
given how near and similar it is to Earth, perhaps this will be the first outpost for mankind to explore the galaxy. And again, the planet orbits within the habitable zone of its host star, called Tea Garden Star. Estimates put the system's age at around 8 billion years, nearly twice as old as Earth, allowing plenty of time for the evolution of life and possible alien civilizations. If humans ever did make a journey across the stars to visit these planets, I'm certain we would be in for many surprises. So the real question is, which one would you choose?